Her family, distraught at the devastating update. Wilson told us his daughter had been found dead. And Chanel went up to Macon, Georgia, and, and uh, I, I kept in contact with her until about 11 o'clock that night. Not that I heard nothing else from her. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. Chanel Crosby was a 35-year-old woman from Atlanta, Georgia, known for her dedication to her family and her unwavering love for her three young children. She was a mother to a seven-month-old, a nine-year-old, and a three-year-old, who were the center of her world. Chanel was cherished by her family and friends for her caring nature and her commitment to providing a loving home for her children. Chanel lived with her boyfriend, Jamal Harvey, and her father, Don Wilson. On July 14, 2024, Chanel and Jamal left their home to travel to Macon, Georgia. The last communication from Chanel came via text message sent on the evening of July 14, in which she mentioned being in Macon. After this message, all contact ceased, causing her family to grow increasingly concerned. Chanel was known for being a devoted and attentive mother who would regularly check on her children, ensuring their well-being. The sudden and complete lack of communication from her was highly unusual and alarming, as she would never willingly go without checking on her kids. This behavior was out of character for her, further deepening the family's anxiety. To make matters even worse, Jamal returned to Atlanta without Chanel, claiming he had left her somewhere in middle Georgia but providing no specific details. His behavior upon returning only heightened the family's fears. He did not come back to their shared home and acted strangely when questioned. Chanel's father received a text message from Jamal asking, Pop, tell Chanel to call me ASAP. Why hasn't she been answering the phone? This message struck Wilson as odd and chilling, given that Chanel was missing and could not respond. When Wilson tried to get more information, Jamal's responses were evasive, further raising suspicions. Neighbors and friends in Lithonia even reported hearing rumors that Jamal had harmed Chanel, adding to the family's distress. I spoke to her father, Don Wilson. Well, Emma Chanel went up to Macon, Georgia, and uh, I, I kept in contact with her until about 11 o'clock that night. Not that I heard nothing else from her. <laughs> it was clear in that moment Wilson was extremely worried for his daughter's safety. According to investigators, Crosby was last seen by her family on July 14th before leaving for Macon. According to the family, she left with her boyfriend, Jamal Harvey. But the family says Harvey came back without her. She also left without her three young children. She had a seven-month-old a nine-year-old and a three-year-old. Earlier this week, he learned Chanel's boyfriend was seen in Atlanta. I didn't even know he was back, but she wasn't with him. And the boyfriend never came home. He acting strange. Don read the last text he sent him. Say, Pop, tell Chanel, call me ASAP, why she ain't been asking up asking the phone. You know why she ain't asking the phone? She can't ask the phone. You killed her. Desperate for answers and hoping to gather any information that could lead to Chanel's safe return, the family arranged to meet with the press. They wanted to get the word out about Chanel's disappearance, pleading for the public's help. As Chanel's father, Don Wilson, spoke with reporters, he expressed his deep concern and fear for his daughter's safety. The family's anxiety was palpable as they shared their hopes that Chanel would be found and brought home safely. During the interview, Don Wilson received a phone call from the police. Stepping aside to take the call, he was informed of his daughter's tragic fate. Returning to the group, he conveyed the heartbreaking news, they found my daughter. She's gone. The family's grief was immediate and overwhelming, with cries of sorrow filling the air. A chilling moment in the interview. Some people way up in Lithonia even sent me a message, and I mean, talked to me, and they said that he shot her and put her in the trunk of a car. What car, I don't know. Less than 10 minutes after Don said that, just as we were about to interview Chanel's cousin. Uh, they found my daughter. They, they found her? <laughs> Chanel's body found nine miles away from her home in the back seat of an abandoned car. His daughter ripped from his life and his grandbaby's lives.
he didn't only take her from her parents, stuff like that. He took her from her children. Tonight, Atlanta police have not publicly identified a suspect. I did ask them if Chanel's uh, boyfriend has been cooperating and they would not comment on the investigation. Atlanta police confirmed late Friday night that they had found 35-year-old Chanel Crosby dead in the West End Marta Station parking lot at around 530. Even before Wilson got that dreaded phone call, he had told us he felt something was wrong. I just feel like, you know, my intuition tells me she's gone. Now, Marta police told us that even though she was found here on their property, APD has jurisdiction over this case. Now, we reached out to them. They still have classified it as a death investigation, not released a cause of death just yet. On the afternoon of July 19, 2024, officers from the Marta Police Department had responded to reports of an unresponsive person at the West and Marta Station, located at 680 Lee Street Southwest, approximately nine miles from Shannel's home. Upon arrival, they discovered Shannel's body in the backseat of a black car parked at the station. She was pronounced deceased at the scene. The discovery of Shannel's body on Marta property brought the Atlanta Police Department into the investigation, which is now leading the case. The cause of death has not yet been released, and the case is currently classified as a death investigation. Authorities are urging anyone with information about Shannel's death to contact the Crime Stoppers Atlanta tip line at 404-577-8477. Despite repeated inquiries, the police have not publicly identified a suspect or commented on whether Jamal Harvey is cooperating with the investigation. His erratic behavior and lack of clear answers have made him a person of interest in the eyes of Shannel's family and friends, who continue to seek justice for her untimely death. Shannel's death is the latest in a series of tragic events that have struck the Crosby family. In September 2022, Shannel's 13-year-old son, Jamieron Crosby, was found shot and killed in the woods behind a Lithonia subdivision. His murder remains unsolved. Earlier that year, in April, Shannel's brother, Dario Polo Giles, was also found shot and killed after winning a significant amount of money from a progressive slot machine. These successive tragedies have left the family reeling and searching for justice. Cody, if this story couldn't get any more heartbreaking, you've interviewed Chanel several times yourself after her oldest son was killed. Yeah, I actually met Chanel when her oldest son was killed up in Lithonia, DeKalb County in September of 2022. This is a picture of the two of them. And Chanel and I spoke a lot as I helped her keep her son's case in the public to help catch his killers. In fact, this picture, it's just heartbreaking. It's of the two of them. Chanel never got the chance to go to prom, so Jamarian invited her to his school dance so she could finally go to a prom. But tonight, again, her investigation still underway to find out what exactly happened to her. In the wake of Chanel's death, the community has rallied around the Crosby family, offering condolences and support. Friends, neighbors, and strangers who followed Chanel's story have reached out, sharing in the family's grief and hoping for justice. The press continues to follow the investigation closely, committed to keeping Chanel's story in the public eye. The tragic discovery of Chanel Crosby's body has left her family and community heartbroken, underscoring the devastating impact of violence and loss. As the investigation continues, the family remains determined to seek answers and justice for Chanel, ensuring that her memory and love for her children are never forgotten. We hope the family finds solace and that Chanel rests in peace. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.